The Fujicast is an independent loading zone production. Sunday, 31st of May. The Fujicast. Hello, Kev. Hello, Neil. I uh, know. This is the, what is it, the 758th edition or Billion. something? 9,6,940,11. It does seem like it, doesn't it? Oh. 74. 74. 74. 74 yeah. editions ago when we started the um, the dailies um, I think the idea was just like when we started the the longer Monday editions you said to me well nobody will want to listen for more more what did you say to me for the for the, the longer ones you said nobody will want to listen for half an hour and we ended up doing you know like a, an hour and a quarter mo- most times and then right yeah. at the start of this she said well nobody will want to listen to us for more than 10 minutes <laughs> we rattled yeah. on for half an hour a day yeah uh, yeah and they've listened, bless them. Yeah, they have. Thank in you very much. Yeah, in their, in their dr- droves. We might be wondering who said that. Um, <laughs> because we thought today is the, the last of the, the dailies that we would uh, we would do something a little bit d- different. Uh, um, although this was... Uh, Kev, again, it's your idea. <laughs> I get the blame for absolutely everything. <laughs> you do. So we, we thought we'd invite the families in for this, this final podcast. Because, of course, this last three months has been very much a, a family affair, as Sly and the Family Stone once said, or it's whoever that fair. band was. It's do you remember that song? Fair so we're going we're gonna to start with uh, with myself and you and uh, and Gemma. Hi. <laughs> and Sam. Can I get a sound effect? Well, I d- that was going to be my first question to you in a moment, actually. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a moment's time. But... Um, since uh, since you know you you two the the ladies in our lives Kev have sort of let us do this haven't they really uh, yeah Gemma loves it yeah. because at two o'clock she knows that I'm tied up and she can go and lie in the garden or do oh, whatever she needs yeah, to do yeah I do I do no I do nothing else Sam I'm sure that you yeah, just lie imagine. in the garden and you know whilst Neil's shutting his studio you just what do you do just like chill yeah just lie you know, there the kids homeschool themselves pina you, coladas. Yeah, yeah, you used to have a lovely time. I hired myself a waiter, yeah, he comes along. Uh, So so as you're gathering with these extra voices today, uh, final in the daily shows, well, they're all going back to the regular Monday show from the 8th of June. This is somewhat of an episode with a difference. So if you're expecting a show about photography, Fujifilm questions and general image making talk, today may not be for you. Go check out one of the other 73 dailies. But, but... If you've been part of the daily experiment, which we're calling it, Kev, aren't we, together together during the lockdown, and you've gotten to know us a little bit more, and of course our families and our ups and our downs, we wanted to do something to share a little more of those who have gone through this with us, our lovely, wonderful families. And whilst we've been locked in or locked down or whatever we're calling it, life has gone on around us. So uh, how how much how much homeschooling have you guys been able to do? Or maybe that's Gemma. Um, well, <laughs> we <laughs> I've, call it, I've taken more of the, 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 is it the Steiner school approach? Mm. You know, come on kids, hug a tree, <laughs> be fine. <laughs> it's a holistic thing. It's home learning. It, it, yeah. It's not Do you know what? My daughter can make loads of different meals now. Lemon meringue pie she's doing at the moment. Yeah. You know. That's not bad, is it? Well, she teased us with that already. Yeah, well, we're going to hear from them in a short while. We're going to close off today's show with um, uh, um, uh, an interesting round of questions aimed at the kids. Uh, Al- Albie's not here. He's, he's off doing something else. We've, ju- we've just got Rosa and our two. Albie's hiding under the bed. Is I he? said to him, Albie, you're on the podcast today, and he spontaneously <laughs> combusted. <laughs> he's, he's, not, he's not big at doing stuff like that. I know he's Albie. So although he's been... He's been a bit of a machine on the um, on uh, playing Rocket League with the with the boys since we've got this this link. Oh, he up loves now. that. Yeah. yeah, he loves he loves the he loves chatting to your boys as well. I can hear him upstairs on his headphones bossing them around. <laughs> are they actually doing that at the moment? Are they? Yeah, because he does. T- he teaches them how to do Minecraft. I was you should say he's a Minecraft yeah, legend. Our Jack will never be told how to do anything on on an Xbox, but he's listening to your Albie. <laughs> yeah so Gemma first of all a question and it's been raised quite a few times over the last um, three months um, and, and some people really feel uncomfortable ab- about the fact that whenever we mention your name you tend to get a <laughs> when actually uh, uh, over the last month I started introducing you as a more sort of ethereal character <laughs> like, like you would float in C- could you could you put this to bed one, once and for all what you feel about how you're portrayed so we can stop getting rotten emails about it. Uh, yeah, I think all of my friends and family would probably say the ethereal thing is is probably a step too far for me. <laughs> Maybe the Rottweiler thing is 
a little bit far in the other direction but yeah. do you know what it's actually really funny now and when we went did the ex-weddings conference the first 10 minutes i was there i probably got growled out at about <laughs> 15 times and um and it just got funny in the end so so i'm i'm all right now and also because i have been on the podcast a bit and people can hear that i'm really not that bad i think it's fine i think it's funny she said at the ex-wedding she said uh, she came up to me she said loads of middle-aged men keep coming up to me and growling <laughs> <laughs> i know i remember actually Gemma did come up to me and said one more person growls at me <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well where should we start then since this is a bit of a chat i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna actually close my microphone for a second and Sam can take over and ask you a few questions and vice versa. Flaws or mine? Oh, that it really is pressure, isn't it? So, okay. Uh, he threw you into the bus how, there, Sam. He did, rather. <laughs> there wasn't even any warning. He hadn't even said to me beforehand. So, how are you? We're all right. Yeah? <laughs> We're Coping? Kev's, Kev's, Kev's swigging from a, from a bottle of um, squash at the moment because he's rather delicate. Oh, is um, he now? We are fine. We, we've had a week on the wagon. And then um, last night we might have fallen off it in quite spectacular style. So other than being a bit, a ugh, bit delicate, a bit delicate, we're, yeah, we're doing we're doing all right. I'm actually pleasantly surprised how our marriages stood up to the last <laughs> ten weeks. To be it's honest test, with you, mm. and how are the kids? Oh, Ooh. they're loving it. Do you reckon? They're yeah, all right. they're loving it absolutely. Rose, Rosa's busy in herself she's just managed to drop a knife on her foot and cut half of her toe off <laughs> is that um, happening now or uh, just happened just happened but, but you have to i'd caveat that with the mullins has a tendency to exaggerate slightly she dropped a knife on her toe and and did like a millimeter cut oh, so right. she's fine we've lost one guinea pig the other one's oh. just started sneezing which is how the other one started <laughs> oh no so, Oh, I dear. didn't know that guinea pigs sneezed. Well, they, yeah, they don't very that's, often. That's not a good sign for <laughs> guinea they? pigs. They went out, they're on their last four legs. Yeah. Sneezing and dribbling for guinea pigs are the two danger signs, which really? actually Kev is... I was going to say, <laughs> is that like, quite a lot? I, I thought that's you were... fever. I Everybody thought, stop mowing their lawns. Just get on my nerves. I thought maybe you were suffering a bit last night, Kev, because I, I tried to send Kev a few text messages and I just got like one word answer replies and I thought well, he's either being belligerent and rude and that's not like Kev or 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 he's had a bit to drink yeah it was the, it was the latter <laughs> and, and actually I'd um I'd put my phone down kind of thing I didn't have the computer on as well which was because mm. obviously as you know the, the computer and as Gemma knows the computer takes up most of the living room at the moment so that was off and uh, I was just kind of just trying to he'd put his phone down Sam does Neil often put his phone down uh I'd say you're on your phone more than me. <gasps> I get accused I'm of not. that, Sam, but I'm yeah. on my phone more than Kev because I've got no one else to talk to. I'd say that my <laughs> phone's generally upstairs or on the side. I'd say you... Actually, to be fair, yeah. Face Facebook comes along at about 9pm and I you will, get buried in that. I will accept that I am probably on my phone of an evening more yeah. than you, but yes. having said that, you also sit on your laptop. So the, the communication that you have is via a laptop, whereas I... I'm on my phone. Oh, I suppose so. That doesn't sound very exciting, have, does have it? Have you managed to... <laughs> the marriage. Ha, have you managed to separate work um, when you've got the the computer in the front room, Kev? No. <laughs> Next y question. Yes. Lies, the lies. Oh, yeah, but the thing is, if I didn't have it here, I wouldn't be able to do any work. And, uh, you know, it's you've got you've got to do it, haven't you? Mm. Kev? Kev generally works six thirty in the morning to nine thirty at night, mm. with food breaks and um, a few. If it's sunny, goes outside and sits there for ten minutes with his book. But by and large, he's work and and he's the one bad thing about this lockdown actually is that I thought, oh, I'll get weekends with Kev because he's got no weddings. But actually, he hasn't seen weekends and bank holidays as part of the week anymore every day's a every a day, day is the same day it is it is there's no definition actually is there there is it is just another day <laughs> there is that sense though that i mean often the boys have sat and we've you know we start have breakfast sitting down and and, and the first question is often what day is it what day yeah. is it and sometimes you you do honestly have to think don't you you think i i genuinely have no idea and and a fixation for what the next meal is oh my you know. lord so we sit down at breakfast and what's for lunch yeah and we sit yeah. down at lunch oh so god. what's for I dinner that, that is that 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 is the question that fills me with dread more than anything else do you cook kev <laughs> i do cook occasionally um i do when i cook i like to i like it to be an enjoyable experience rather than just a functional experience 
So, so what uh, does your kitchen look like when you've finished? Horrendous. Yeah, <laughs> horrendous. So it starts with, he goes to his little Bosch book, which is a brilliant vegan cookbook. Mm, mm. But he, he doesn't, he doesn't um, uh, you know, do what I would do and make do with the spices and stuff that we've got. So it'll, it'll involve a trip to the supermarket yep. to buy every spice, whether we've got it or not, actually. just sort of comes back with this whole sort of huge thing. And then um, puts his, whatever he's watching, photography podcast or whatever it is on, on, on a photography um, documentary thing on in the kitchen. And then he's just there um, for about two hours by the time I've drunk a bottle of wine waiting for my dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, used everything in the kitchen and then I clean up. Oh. It always tastes really nice, it's though. Not true. Now we 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 watched. Uh, was it forks over knives or knives over forks or whatever? Mm. Forks over knives. Forks over yeah. knives. Uh, which, uh, which Actually, I didn't get to the end of it. Uh, on, yeah, no, you went. You went on Facebook. Um, on Netflix, the other is the this other is a night. character assassination. <laughs> Did I sign up for this? But yeah. I, I wonder, Kev, because um, so G- Gemma, um, we were talking about this, and I, I've talked about Kev's amazing. Um, weight loss and how he sort of went from 180 kilos to 80 <laughs> 82 or whatever it was, it was within the space of three days um because he because he suddenly went plant-based and stopped eating and i keep saying i'd like to stop eating and sam says well beyond you're on your own now in your household you have this idea that you support each other in that respect because otherwise kev wouldn't be able to do it I do know he, he is a pain in the arse though because he just when he gets an idea and he's going to go ve- vegan it's just it just isn't any point and he and he will just do it so yeah. I might as well join in um, and I think for the health reasons he did it it was a sensible thing yeah. not to say that it's not it is a, a you know I really miss Sunday roasts and in this barbecue weather it's kind of it's a bit boring barbecuing I don't know sweet corn and aubergine aubergine yeah so um or corbergine as, as thomas calls it corbergine's so cool yeah. in our Corbugines. house <laughs> 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 like those but, yeah. between courgettes and aubergines the corbergine or the jeremy as it's also known yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not that we're getting political so sam are you looking forward to having me back in your little studio at the end of the garden? Do you know I am? I have to say I am. Not that I ever We've, see you. <laughs> no, I'm normally working. In fact, I start work again next week, which will be peculiar. Yeah. So uh, actually, the roles uh, Daddy Daycare kicks in yeah. five uh, yeah, days a week, which will be uh, interesting. It'll be interesting for the education system. I was going to say, let's see. Uh, well, we'll see. The, we, we've got an offset rating in our front window yeah. of bloody awful. Yeah. Um, so we'll see if he can improve on that. Everybody's doing finger painting from yes. Monday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How do you feel about that, though, Neil? Because uh, when I leave Kev with the kids, they yeah. I've been to work a few times, yeah. and um, they just don't bother him, and they're as good as gold. And as soon as I walk back through the door, they're like, man, will they do the same with you? Are they pretty good for you and Sam? Yeah, away? actually, they were, they were not very good to start with, and they would wind each other up. And Jack plays me like a proper musical instrument. It's so easy. Yeah, it's so easy. Yeah. Um, but now Jack has um, really buckled down and is working really hard. And so I found that bit easy. Uh, and uh, I, I dread them asking any questions. Either Jack, the 12, or the Thomas, the 9, nearly 10-year-old, asking me questions. Because if it's anything to do with maths, Gemma, I'm completely hopeless. Mm-hmm. Or even a fronted yeah. adverbial. Fronted adverbial. We never used to learn about stuff like that. Yeah. Earth does that mean? Didn't Isn't know you were doing Latin. In France, where you could skin. Fronted adverbial, yeah. 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 <laughs> I like the red slopes and the fronted adverbial. Yeah. <laughs> so, but, but that that has been the t- a tough bit Gemma to be honest uh, yeah well I I've given up really are I have you, to say are you looking forward to um to to normality or are you like a lot of people just a little bit nervous about it because we've got used to this this rather new reset way of living uh, Kev said to me the other day oh I'm going to go back to the office on the 15th of June and I was a bit like mm. Oh, this is the woman that about Girl. Four, Girl. Four, four weeks ago that stared at me in the in the, in my front living room. Said, uh, "Can you not go back to the office yet?" Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I know. And I was really sick of you, but now I quite like having you around. So <laughs> I, I've got, I've got, we've got into a nice routine, and I'm not scared of going. I know lots of people are really anxious about get going back out there and i it's not something that makes me worried at all but um i think it's just 
it, it feels a little, little bit by, like death by a thousand cuts at the moment because you're just waiting every two or three weeks for another little announcement. You know, six people can get together or you can do this or you can go to the garden centre. Um, I think it was easier when it was all, all or nothing. Mm. You know, like stay home, just don't go out. That's it. You're done. So, yeah, I'm not, I don't. Are you looking forward to it, Kev? Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 it's not going to be normal, though, is it, for a long time? So it's... I don't think it's a case of just kind of thinking, yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna be you know back to back to normality. It's just not going to be like that. So it's going to be little stages, little bits and pieces, and we'll have to adapt as we go along. But I think you know ultimately, I think if you think back over the, the ten weeks that it has been, um, y- you know, if we have to, and this is this, I, I, I'm careful what I'm saying because I know that a lot of people have suffered a lot, and you know, and we both have, uh, or our families have you know will be suffering financially from the impact but actually i think as an experience it's something that we will we will all remember mm. in, in almost a positive way because i think it's it's brought a lot of people together it's uh, from a family point of view regardless of how much Gemma tries to hijack me there you know we have spent a lot of time together and i think the kids will will never forget it and you know i think there's there's a good thing to come out of it ultimately which is which is good you know silver linings and all that notwithstanding the the um uh, the unhappiness that a lot of people yeah, have suffered yeah, absolutely and the weather's helped you know i think the weather has been amazing i think there's a there's definitely a mother nature thing going on mother nature's like leave this to me folks i'll deal with this you you have a nice sunny thing while i go and fight this oh, fight it on the front for you absolutely <laughs> i think that's probably though isn't it why they've um, opened garden centers first because yeah they to know try and keep people, people in their gardens yeah. Yeah. um yeah. you know to actually go out and well i think it, it, next door was um had a bonfire yesterday yeah. and uh i was chatting to him and uh he said i don't really want to burn things but he said i can't get a, a, a um an appointment at the dump for all of May and all of June, and I thought, what a random thing to actually not an be able to go to. An appointment at the dump. Yeah, you have to get an appointment oh at the dump. So you can't get an appointment at the dump. Oh, but just, I'm just going to fly tip. <laughs> I'm taking it all over to Malmesbury. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, there's, 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 a lot of, there's a lot of politics in Malmesbury about people having bonfires. Is there? It's not acceptable socially to have bonfires here. People are getting very airated about it. It's quite posh where you live, though, to be fair. So it's not quite the yeah, same. Yeah, we're just burning stuff. Yeah, we just burn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We, got, we chucked our mattress bring on all, it. Bring all your tyres down. Yeah. We'll have a good old fire. We'll do some marshmallows yeah. with them. It'll be lovely. <laughs> are you guys going to go... Uh, are you guys thinking about what you might do in sort of end of July, August, if we are allowed to go anywhere, holidays and things? I think... Well, it's funny... Um, well, what uh, with that great big pot of money we've got? <laughs> yeah. Well, do you know, it is, it is strange. And it, it was, it's, it's a bit like you talk about Mother Nature, isn't it? Stepping in and sort of helping us out. But we have always been... Um, I suppose a little bit 2.4 in in terms of summer holidays and and like, I guess like like you guys when you work in an industry such as weddings you have to kind of plan at least a year in advance so we've always said right let's block out two weeks in the summer and um, they will be the weeks we go away and then for whatever reason and I don't even know what it was last year we just didn't do it I don't know why we didn't do it. I think it was the wedding industry sort of not delivering as well as it used to. You made me with skin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We yeah. said, I'll tell you what, let's, let's miss a, a year of holidays. Because you never know what's around the corner. Might be a pandemic or something. But it was strange. <laughs> and we, so we didn't, we, we just didn't plan anything. And then obviously, you know, things unfolded and it made that, meant that those decisions were taken out of our hands. Um, but I think it's, I think a bit like you, there's, there's been highs and there's been lows. There have been screaming matches, oh God, yeah. you know, there have been moments yeah. of just running around the block and, um, you know, insanity rules. But... I think I think we have we have is is enjoyed too strong a word I don't know mm, I feel I feel a bit guilty to say enjoyed there's been moments where we've been sat out in the garden in the afternoon with a beer which we would never have done at no, five o'clock we have on a but, Thursday no, I think afternoon the, but Kev, Kev's silver lining I think that silver lining yeah. thing and I think actually it does change your mindset and the one thing that we've we've constantly said um to the boys is is and it, it sometimes you don't follow you know practice what you preach and all that it, it's really easy to see what you don't have isn't it rather than than what you do have and I think what we've what we've thought in in over these 10 weeks actually is the bits that we don't have um you know the money for mm. example mm. uh have been replaced by time um and that's a, that's a strange thing to be able to focus on and appreciate isn't it really so yeah. 
I think with yeah. regards to the summer, we'll end up just pottering around. And, and I mean, it, it'll be strange seeing what happens wedding-wise. I mean, I don't know whether... You know, well, none of us know, do they? Uh, whether lockdown will will mean that that you can actually start photographing weddings again. Um, well, Kev's convinced that um, we're not going to be working till uh, July two thousand twenty eight. <laughs> no, I think it'll be next year. But here, here's a question for you, Sam. Come on. If you, um, uh, how would you know? Obviously, Neil's doing a lot more um, audio stuff yep. because he's had the time to do it, which is great. If you, let's imagine it is this time next year, um, it's normal, normal, the world's normal. Okay. And how would you prefer Neil to be doing all the weddings that he generally did? Yeah. Obviously not this year. Um, or... Way back when. Uh, way back when. Or spending his time doing the audio stuff and having the weekends free, completely free, and, you know, being able to go on holidays and stuff easy easily uh easily easily it's another mullins ish uh, language yeah, yeah. definitely the latter ah. so, yeah, and do you know what it's it's again it, it the careful because clients listen to this <laughs> do you know what it's it's about a balance <laughs> yes and i think that's the one thing again that's another thing that that's not the one thing well rescued um it it but it is a balance isn't it and i think actually for quite a long period of time we had no balance whatsoever um and it it was you know it could be a, a cause of um frustration on both sides that come the weekend um that actually you know that w- that would be the time that obviously um neil was working and you know we would go down to the beach or or you know enjoy in inverted commas family time yeah. um whereas actually the balance has been restored although i think one of the biggest things um is i suppose having the opportunity to have spent more time back in the studio um on the audio um, on the audio side of things and that's been something that you would not have been able to do had you not been afforded these what three months no um, I, w- I wouldn't have been thinking about a brand new podcast Sam weddings yeah, absolutely I wouldn't yeah. have been thinking about doing there's a special secret source project that myself and kev are talking about that we can't talk about at the moment um which have you a, told me about this yet yeah no do it's, i know yeah, is this yeah. one of the ones i know about or one well, of the ones it, i don't know about this is another one of your ideas <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> but you know what that's been really nice as well i think the, the, the sense that you've kind of had a, a a daily connection and i think i mean i did post something on facebook the other day probably at nine o'clock probably when i was on my phone probably when i should have been talking to my husband after some wine <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, when uh, I mentioned that the podcast has been, um, it's been sanity. Um, And I think, uh, I mean, correct me if I'm speaking out of turn, but I think, you know, it's been, you've had tricky times. I think we've had tricky times. Um, And actually to sort of come back in almost when one of you is, is, you know, you're kind of sounding boards to each other. Um, And that's been really important. And I've really, I've really been very grateful to you for that. Um, And I think because, because actually, otherwise, you feel quite isolated, or you could have potentially felt quite isolated. I'd like to think we, uh, I think myself and and you, Kev, I think we've supported each other. I mean, there have been times where I think both of us have have been on on the floor sort of, um, you know, screaming out loud. No, please, no, no, no. Most of the time, we've been all right. Uh, Yeah, no, absolutely. I think it's been great. I think it's been wonderful in that respect and you know we both have managed to uh, you, you know we've had this i often say about this long list of the long list the task list long list oh, long list task list whatever uh, it's been a long long day already um and, and i think we've ticked off a lot of those uh, both of us have, have kind of gone right okay yeah we haven't got any entertainment we haven't got any weddings we don't have to worry about that so let's let's look at the the things we've had on our long list for a long time yeah and start ticking some of those off ministry of shadows was that one for you wasn't it yeah i mean yeah. things like that were great to do and and kind of just get on with it and do it but you know there's a lot of people in the industry who and i see this on a lot of facebook groups and stuff who basically just stare at their computer every day and just say oh you know and they just procrastinate but mm. i think you've got you, you know if you actually no i don't I, i'd hate to come out of this time thinking oh i just wasted 10 weeks mm. or however long it will be yeah. just you know sat on my butt doing nothing you know because this is a perfect opportunity for people to try and um you know normalize things i suppose and you know kind of get get their get their stock into order the one thing that i would say is that i i've noticed a a, a theme when you and kev have done some of the podcast in that i would love for kev to take more photos and i think that you say too is that you're not out with your camera and you 
you know, and it, we have all this, you know, personal projects, blah, 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 and you've got to earn money and what should you do? But you are both really good photographers and you are both really creative. And it took me to go into the kitchen to set up a little still life for Kev so that he could pick up his GFX and, you know, take some pictures. I told everybody I did that. Oh, sorry. Um, Hang on a minute. <laughs> did you press the button as well, Gemma? <laughs> Do you not know? Yeah, I do all his editing. Did you like the presets that I uh, supplied? Yeah, I thought they were very good. Yeah, yeah, newspaper's my favourite. What do you think? Yeah, I think that, um, that newspaper one is my favourite. You, you did that one, did you? That's, yeah, that's yeah, a work it's, all my, of, it's all my concept. You're a genius. <laughs> Thanks. But I do I do think that that's one thing, possibly. I think Kev squeezed a lot, and you both have with the podcast and everything, out of this time, and, and like you say, supported each other and given structure to the day and all that good stuff. And if there's one little thing that I wish Kev had done slightly more, it's t- a few more pictures with the really expensive yeah. GFX, yeah. which we need to sell because we can't afford the mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that. Says now. the woman who every time I point a camera at her, she says, don't take a picture of me. Uh, oh, no, no, not me. No, oh, yeah, exactly. Not you. <laughs> do you know, I, I, I do know, to sum it all up in, in one word, do you know what the bouquet chicken would say? The bocker chicken. <laughs> <laughs> bouquet chicken. The bocker chicken. Who's that? The bouquet chicken. Bouquet chicken. I, I, that's the posh, posh <laughs> I chicken. I was going to say the bouquet chicken. What is it? Bouquet chicken? or bocca? What is it? I just say blurriness. Blurriness. <laughs> no, it's definitely bouquet. <laughs> Should we get the kids in? Mrs. Bouquet. Yeah, let's get them in. Should we go and get them? Uh... Should we just bellow down the garden? Razor! Excellent. Excellent <laughs> bellowing. Hello, boys. How are you doing? Good, thank you. So by the magic of podcasting, the family are in the studio. Jack, just bring that microphone slightly more towards you because you keep walking away from it. There we go. He's there we go. Hands in his no, he's got his hand in his pocket. No, that's downward. Oh, no, oh. Norm- that didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Normal <laughs> service is resumed. Hold on. The only thing is they haven't punched each other. No, not yet. Um, so we got we got some questions here, Kev. Um, do you do you want to aim them at our kids and then we'll we'll send some questions back to Rosa? Should we do one each or something? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, Rosa can ask. All right. Okay. Out of your parents, who has more sympathy? Daddy. <laughs> By far. Well, don't take long. By far. Well, I think I have a good bedside manner. You're dreadful. Okay. You oh, you awful. fell off your scooter. Actually, oh, you no. Know, your ears come off. You'll grow another one. <laughs> I think it depends on whether you've been warned that if you continue doing something, you will have an accident. Yeah, but if Daddy says that, then no, da- it- Daddy will be like, oh, are you okay? Mum will be like, well, I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> Bearing. I'm with your mum there. Yeah. Was that Jack or Thomas? Yeah. That was Thomas. Does that mean I get one point? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> the better parent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to throw one back at Rosa? Go on. Who's uh, J- Jack? You do one. Who? Uh, no, you... Come into the microphone, darling. Okay. Yeah. I can't see it from there. Well, you've um, got better eyesight than me. You should be able to see it no, from a mile away. The microphone, microphone is blocking. Is oh, is it? Right. Sorry about that. Okay. Well done. Um. <laughs> 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 Out of your parents, who's the better gamer? Ooh. Um, definitely my dad. <laughs> Me and my mum have some trouble gaming. <laughs> what do you like? What do you like playing, Rosa? I don't. <laughs> right. But you play Minecraft and stuff. Oh yeah, but that's the only thing to do in lockdown is play with my brother. Oh, mm, that's tough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Have you managed to keep in touch with your friends via things like? Zoom and WhatsApp. Well, I mean, when we FaceTime each other, we FaceTime each other for like four hours, but we're not really saying anything. We're just going on with our normal life because there's nothing to say. Right. <laughs> it is a bit like that, isn't it? When we, we I do um, Zoom meetups with my mates that we, we regularly go to the pub together, but because we're not doing anything, we kind of just sit there staring at each other. So, so what's happened? <laughs> yeah. Nothing, and you can't nothing. even talk about sport or anything, can you? Those, those no, kind of go-to conversations right. that you would naturally... I mean, I suppose it's normally weather, isn't it? Weather and sport well, f- are easy. Fat, fat Phil hasn't been able to go to the pub for 10 weeks. He must be like really thin Phil now. Actually, all of my friends, they all listen to the podcast, so that's pretty much the only thing we talk about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> go on the Rosa. I think it's your turn to ask a question. Uh, who is most likely to lose their car keys? Daddy. Daddy. Uh, yeah. Do you know... It's, Where's my glasses? He, it's not just his keys that he loses. It's glasses, it's yeah. wallets. Do you know, even in even in lockdown, where he hasn't yeah, he forgot been, his out the, been out of the house... No, he forgot his driving licence oh, to yeah, go to he a did. holiday. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got in a lot of trouble for that. We went abroad <laughs> and I'd, I'd forgotten my driving licence. Yeah, no. and you were supposed to drive the hire car. Yeah. So was that that, was that that time when you said to me, Kev, take my driving licence for a week, will you? <laughs> Smart. 
start <laughs> well you know what happened then it meant that i had to drive and i'd no. never driven before abroad so i also think that he's lost my 35 mil lens oh you keep on about i've looked in this cupboard i've not got your 35 millimeter lens is that the one i put on ebay I, yeah. could be <laughs> we got 150 quid for that yeah I was going to say <laughs> point to us bonus <laughs> <laughs> go on then um, Thomas you can ask a question um, who drinks more wine well mum drinks more wine dad drinks a lot of beer smart <laughs> a, a lot <laughs> of beer. well how much is a how much is a lot Rosa well like like a lot like <laughs> we've got like four thousand cans like after <laughs> when they're staying up late in the morning there's like 50 cans on the side whoa that is good effort. empty cans 50 cans <laughs> that's ridiculous <laughs> wow now the truth is coming out here <laughs> go on there rose say it was 50 but yeah. it's a lot it is a yeah, lot. It is a, yeah i agree with you rose I, I can feel it's a lot from See, here that's though that's how you can do your home uh schooling mm. because then you take your cans you take your empties and then you do your times tables with them so when they're taking them to the bin taking them to the recycling bin you know can you take them in twos kids can you take them in fives <laughs> yeah. can you stack them can you stack them in threes well in kev's case you know? square root of can yes. you look at can you look at the calorific value and exactly add up how many Absolutely. kilos have yeah. put on in the last few yeah. days? Yeah, see, <laughs> right. Who, all all home learning opportunities. <laughs> who, whose turn is it to ask a question? Rose's Rose. turn. All right. Um, who has the worst language? Daddy, Daddy. by far. <laughs> oh, really? I'm surprised Today. at that. Oh. Okay. You're surprised at that for what reason? Well, uh, just I, I just damn. <laughs> Because you think, obviously, I'd be potty-mouthed or because you think that he is somewhat angelic? Um, That's me. This jingle was made for me. I would, I, I would have thought of Neil being quite angelic in that sense as well. Would you? He comes across as very... Well-spoken? Uh, Well-spoken and <laughs> balanced in his view. Mellifluous. Yeah. No, he's a bit of a potty-mouth. Oh, can't, no. Um, I did say, though, this morning, because they said they might ask a particular question which would have given so much stuff away, and I said, if you say that, I'm going to I'm gonna edit the <laughs> out of it. <laughs> go, which I now bleep out, but I have to say that to be able to bleep it. Oh, okay. I'm getting that look. And sorry, uh, Rosa, I'm sure. You, I'm sure <laughs> okay, you, so you can't bleep it out when Rosa uh, you now. Well, no, I can because by the magic of podcasting, that never existed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Apart from in Rosa's ears. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that's that, a, Rosa. That's the same word she used when she dropped the knife on her foot. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, whose turn is it to ask a question? Uh, Jack. Jack. Um, Coming close to the second microphone there. Who spends longest in the bathroom? Oh. oh, Dad spends hours in the bath. Does like, he? No, bar- no I, th- I think what Jack's getting at here, he's interested in not the bath, but the... <laughs> <laughs> Who spends longest, Mum or Dad? Dad, uh-huh. definitely. Everything. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Does he take in a, a phone with him or anything? Yes. Oh. Albie, it's Albie. Albie's the king of that. Albie's, yeah. Albie's the king of the iPoo, isn't he, with his iPad. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he comes out with a toilet imprint on his side for his sat there for so long. At least it's not just our children. Oh. Yeah, but you told us we can't take our phones yeah, on the loo. They yeah, they have. New, iPads new rules, have been banned, rules, yeah. and now and only phones. magazines. Yeah, yeah but we have one bathroom, and it's like always before school, and it's like oh, other people need to get ready too. Yeah. It's yeah, well, you, we can hear his little, uh, the little tap of his feet. So he he's almost got like this extra sense where he can t- figure out when everybody's just opened their eyes, and then he'll we'll hear his feet tapping across the the landing into the bathroom. Bang, lock. <laughs> to get the eye poo in first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> first eye poo of the day. Yeah. <laughs> have we got yeah. Have we got time for any more? Rose? I like that this um, quiz has become particularly highbrow. It has. We, we, yeah, we, yeah, it's very very high level. Go yeah. on, Ro- Rosa. You we'll, we'll have one more question each. Go on, Rosa. You go first. Okay. Who is the better cook? Uh, mummy. You. Oh, yeah. Mummy. It's so easy. I could mummy. burn. I could burn salad. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good at making cereal. <laughs> dry cereal oh, yeah, dried cereal, dry cereal. Then, yeah, don't no, risk the milk kids. Don't, don't risk me putting milk in no yeah. um it's actually that's quite a funny thing because you, you quite often um embark upon new challenges don't you mm. and there are things that you think right i tell you what this year mm-hmm. i am going to mm-hmm. make dry cereal learn to cook mm. 
and then you'll buy it, it normally starts with a cookbook yeah you'll find a cookbook like i want the, Mr. Bo- the Bosch one i want i really want that one i'm sure you do yeah. uh oh. and you'll get the you'll get the cookbook <laughs> and you this looks nice yeah. that looks nice yes. oh that looks lovely can you cook it for and me? then you know that story you had Gemma, of having to go to the shop yeah. and spend 1400 pounds on <laughs> sumac and yes. turmeric and why is it always sumac in those yeah. <laughs> what yeah. even is sumac yeah what is that is a really it's a good martial thing. art i'm black belt a sumac <laughs> um <laughs> and then yeah and then it, it lasts for one yeah. although one time you did try a souffle do you remember your souffle that was very oh, funny that was a bit of a disaster wasn't it yeah why would you try a souffle of all things i know i know, I know but it's because you just thought well i'm just gonna well, I, i'm I, just gonna go cook I'm no i don't because i watched the chef do it and i yeah. thought if he could do it i can do it <laughs> Well, I, do you know what? Here's an idea for you. A few Father's Days ago, yeah. the kids bought Kev a cookery course yeah. in Bath, a vegetarian. Was that a vegetarian? Vegan. Co- was it? Cookery. Yeah, you went in the evening, didn't you, and had yeah. a little It was very lesson. good. It was very good. Yeah, so yeah. there you go, Neil. Do you think that the um, Heinz do a uh, cookery course where, yeah. you, where you get given a, a tin opener? We do joke about that and on MasterChef, that if, if, um, with that voiceover. Neil has prepared a beans and toast special topped with turmeric. Turmeric, can't even say it. If I, were, I just thought something. If I was married to Neil, I would get him to narrate. Do you, do you, get, do you get him to do that, Sam? Just get him to narrate your life. And here comes Sam downstairs looking stunning. Do you get, I'd get him yeah. to do that. All right, we're going to have one more question then from our lot towards um, Rosa. Go on, go on. who's okay. going to do this one? Who is the better artist? Oh. Mum. <laughs> well, it depends. Like, Mum's good at drawing and painting and stuff. Yeah, mum. There we go. Is dad not very good with a paintbrush? No, I can't even draw a line. <laughs> uh, well, um, that's it. That's the end of the dailies. That is it. Are, I you, think you, you, should, right. uh, Are you a bit sad? I'm really sad. I'm sadder than I thought I'd be. At least we get the living room back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The boys, it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm in the studio down here. The only thing that's going to make a difference is that Thomas likes to scoot up and down by, by the studio and all you hear is this roar well, and I have to stop him doing that at two o'clock every afternoon first of all I have to say that it has been a, a you know a labour of love uh, for both of us but mm. primarily for you because you know as everybody knows all I do is I speak into this big black fluffy thing and then you do <laughs> all of the other stuff that goes with it which I have no idea what it is probably involves turning dials and sliding things up and down but I, I, know give, I know, no, no, hang on a minute I give it all to Thomas and Jack and uh, they Thomas do it, does it yeah, yeah. every afternoon <laughs> yeah. I just go and drink beer yeah um, but <laughs> yeah it's been good it's been good fun and uh, you know we, we also have to uh, thank all of the people that have been listening I don't want this to sound like some kind of Oscar thing but Go on, uh, you know some of them uh, for everybody that's uh, helped us with the tip jar from the people that have donated yeah. a single penny to the people have donated a you know, few bob more uh, every penny counts and we, we are really really grateful for all of that That's that helps us with the, the hosting fees and everything and all of the emails and all of the messages the Facebook group uh, Instagram, all of that kind of stuff has been uh, wonderful. Apart from that one one-star review, he can go in. <laughs> you need to get Did over you get that a one-star one. review? Yeah, it was Kevin. Yeah, oh, yeah he said didn't like Kevin. Is that what it was? <laughs> no, Basically, no, it wasn't. Yeah. No, no. It wasn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know about the one-star there was a daily, review. There was somebody that said it was Daily Mail or something, and there was another one. Oh, yeah, dear. Was, it was Kev, yeah. Yeah. Kev's not got over it yet. But, oh, but I, I wouldn't get over it either. Well, I've got a few people. I'd like to thank Donald Trump. Don't be rude. And uh, Scott Morrison. He was... Stop it. Oh, sorry. Um, but... It, in, in particular, the Bocca Chicken, who's been an absolute star and has been used for all the bleeping, and there's been a lot of that over the last 10 weeks. It's because you're a potty mouth. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. One, day, one day we are going to do an episode where we just do all of the cutted bits. Cutted? The cutted? cut bits. <laughs> and Mullinsism. <laughs> all right, well, that's it then. So we, we better, uh, we, uh, at this point, we just all say goodbye. Bye-bye. Like and Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> See you next Monday. And now the bits that didn't make the show. Well, we went, I went and took a uh, birthday card to a friend's daughter in there on over their back garden wall yesterday yeah um had a took a glass of wine with me smart uh, kev then came down had a glass of wine and then we decided that it'd be a good idea to stop drinking wine and start drinking gin <laughs> excellent work <laughs> yes and then we thought we'd just have one more for the road at one o'clock this morning Uh-oh. whilst watching naked attraction <laughs> nice <laughs>
<laughs> That's it. Brilliant. Mm. Oh, I forgot it? to record it. No, I didn't. Uh. <laughs> that that would, be, would be a joke. We didn't do that once, did we? We, did, we never forgot to record it. Really? Didn't. Din, 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 din. Theme tune. Din, 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 din. The Fuji cast. Oh, no, isn't that anymore? It's supposed to get funky now. Maybe you should just say your art.